Yo, 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 what's going on, people? I'm back with another video, like I told y'all was. If y'all didn't watch my last video, I just actually just uploaded it maybe an hour or two ago. It's my Sony E3 wrap-up conference. I waited like a week because I had to sit on the, you know what I'm saying, let everything marinate. Um, really pay attention to the stuff that they showed after E3. And look at some of the conferences again without everybody that was in here, you know what I'm saying, hollering and screaming. Just actually watched it again and gave my conclusion on what I felt about the conference and the games that they showed. So if y'all missed that video... Go back in the go back in the catalog and look at it. So today is the day. Uh, got a new game, y'all. If y'all didn't know, today is Mighty Number no. Nine Day. The game that has been getting shit on, and people will be like, "Oh, why did you buy that game? Oh, that game getting bad reviews." People, stop listening to people's opinions and make your own opinion. The game may be bad. But I'm going to play the game myself and come to the conclusion if the game is bad to me. I don't always go with the masses or go with a person who has an opinion just like I do. That's stupid, y'all. And if you let other people's opinions overshadow yours, that lets me know that you are a sheep and you play what the masses play or play what everybody else wants you to play. I keep saying this. This is going to be my slogan. For the rest of my time on YouTube. I don't play my games for your enjoyment. <laughs> I play my games for my enjoyment. What I want to play. What I think is fun. What I want to play at that time. I don't play for other people's enjoyment, man. So, you can't always go by reviews, man. You have to play the games yourself. You know what I'm saying? That, that's just, that is what it is. I may be swayed, but at the end of the day... I'm never going to trash a game I haven't played yet until I play it and I say it's bad. <laughs> so, we're going to open this up. Of course, I got it on Amazon. And also, I got it physical just in case if it was bad, I can always get money back for it. So, here we go. It was a crowdfunded game. I heard there's frame rate issues. I heard that it's a little easy. And it's cross by. It's a downloadable version for the Vita and the PlayStation 3. So, if I ever wanted to play it on the PS3 or the PS Vita, I could. So, yeah. Let's open this up. Um, it's supposed to be like uh, a new school version of Mega Man. The same person who made the uh, Mega Man series made this. So, slide this off. Y'all really ought to stop listening to everybody's opinion and, and form your own. But here we go. It's the case. Um, includes Ray Expansion and Retro Hero DLC. I love the cover art for it, though. This game got delayed like a mother. Like, this joint got delayed like crazy. Um, what's this? Oh, it's a poster. Yo, this looks dope. It's a dope-ass poster. Look at that. Look at that dope ass poster, and then there's one on the back too. Um, let's see what else is in here. Uh, the art. Oh, it's an art book. This looks pretty dope. Showing you all the, I guess, all the machines and stuff that's in the game. Looks pretty cool. The art, I just love the art style of this game. I don't know why I just do. Seems like something you just pick up and play. That. 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 Um, that. And that. Yo, Ray looks dope. I like the character designs. So yeah, that was the art book. Let's see what else is in here. Uh, this is the DLC. Mighty Number no. 9 is a Japanese 2D side-scrolling action game that takes place 
uh, takes the best elements from 8 and 16-bit classics that you know and love and transforms them in modern tech, fresh mechanics, and a fan imp input into something amazing. Um, discover the origins of Rey and join her in her quest for answers. It's the uh, Rey DLC. And play as retro-inspired version of Beck. Um, it's like an 8-bit version of Beck. Um, so yeah, that's the little DLC right there. So, I'm actually going to live stream this a little later on. Probably going to live stream uh, South Park as well, but that's the game. People can shit on it all they want. I really don't care. If it's bad, I'll say it's bad. If I like it, I'll say I like it. But people, y'all got to stop, like, depending on reviews to make your opinions for you. You always, reviews are good to give you a little bit of insight about the game. But if you don't actually play it or watch gameplay of it or see the game, you know what I'm saying, before you trash it and say it's bad because another person said it's bad, that lets me know that you you hold no weight in your own opinions. Like, your, your own opinions don't even matter anymore. So, yeah. Mighty number no. 9 unboxing. Actually going to put this in in probably about an hour or so. I'm a live stream it. And I'm a live stream South Park today as well. I had a great time live streaming that game last night. Still fucking hilarious. That game right there has no chill. But anyways, I'm going to holla at y'all. Peace.